Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Earnshaw Beagle. Yep, the watch is called the Beagle. I don't know why, but it's called the Beagle. Yep, like the dog, the Beagle. Um, there's nothing particularly canine about this watch, but they wanted to call it the Beagle, so it's the Beagle. Um, but don't let that, uh, don't let that distract you from this otherwise nice and quite economically priced timepiece, which features a skeletonized automatic movement in a nicely modern sized dressy look. And there's a lot to like about that. And the price isn't, isn't too high. So what are we looking at here? First, you have a 42 millimeter wide steel case with a, uh, rose gold plated bezel, um, and crown. And you have rose gold, um, toned elements there on the dial. What's interesting about this watch is that it is it is from a Hong Kong based watchmaker, but it has a Swiss made movement. So there's of course going to be a lot of questions about, you know, what is this movement? Who made it? How Swiss is it? Well, it's from a company, a new uh, watchmaker called Inter T S A, which is a Swiss company, which fulfills the requirements to be able to call their watches, their movements Swiss made, which means a certain percentage of the parts must, um, the parts, the value of the movement must come from Switzerland. Um, the details get a little bit murky, but you know, I, I, I trust that this um, fulfills the Swiss made requirement. You'd be surprised how much non-Swiss components there are in many of the Swiss made watches out there. So I think that's an interesting thing. So you can see that it does have a fully legible dial with that middle section um, that has been cut away to reveal the skeletonized movement. On the back you have more of a view um, and you can tell it is an automatic and you see that rotor moving around there. And so it's nice to have an automatic um, skeletonized watch. I, I tend to prefer those a little bit more than the manually wound ones. I mean the manually wound ones you can see through more but I just I really don't wear manually wound watches. I mean I do once in a while but I prefer automatics because they're so much more convenient. So again, you have a little bit of loom on the hand, um, and so you, you basically have a, a fully, you know, readable dial in terms of what you need. The case is 42 millimeters wide, like I believe I said. So it wears, you know, there's a contemporary size to it, though it is classic. Um, the strap is kind of this fake crocodile. It's like leather fake with a folding uh, deployant. And, you know, probably one of the things I would do if I was a new uh, a new customer and just w bought this watch I might think about replacing the strap there's nothing wrong with the strap but it's not the highest end feeling strap um, it's actually not bad it could it could be a lot worse trust me it could be a lot worse but I would I would definitely replace the strap with something that felt a little bit better because it really upgrade the look of this thing and it's really cool to see you know you can see the the that balance wheel moving there through the skeletonization so it's it's a cool watch it's not bad price is 399 euros so that's in the vicinity of 500 dollars not too shabby at all um and, and for that price you definitely do get a lot of watch i think it's a good value one thing that i would like to see possibly on future earnshaw models is some upgraded cases the metal it doesn't have that hefty feel like when you when you hold it you can feel that the majority of the weight is coming from the movement and i prefer that the majority of weight is coming from the case that means it's not the um, best steel and this is probably a chemically chromed case versus one which is CNC cut. I know there's a cost difference there and I know that I'm probably being a little bit picky but you know if they, if, if Earnshaw wants to step it up I think um, they could make some improvements in the cases there in terms of the um, production process but overall again for 399 euros you're getting a cool automatic Swiss made watch um, that's skeletonized, it's decent to look at, and I think that there's a, a lot of demand for things like this. So again, this is the Earnshaw Beagle, and you can see the full review on a blog to watch very soon. Thanks.